What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going through some more comic books, and we're going to be going through Web of Spider-Man. There's a lot more of Web of Spider-Man than there was for some of my other Spider-Man comics, so we're just going to be going through them. I'm not sure if these are in order, I didn't go through these yet. I do know up front there is a set, the Art Attack set, uh, so I'm really interested in keeping that. The others... I'm going to have to see what I have in my personal collection and then pick it a few here or there that I want to add to my collection and probably sell the rest. That's what I bought the 2000 lot for in the first place. So let's just get into the comics because I know that's what you guys are waiting for. Up first we have issue 73. This is part one of four of Web of Spider-Man Art Attack. It's the whole set so I likely am going to keep it. So this is part one. Issue 74 is part two of Art Attack. We have Part 3, Issue 75. And we have Issue 76, which is Part 4. And this actually has the Fantastic Four in it, which is really, really cool. I like Fantastic Four. I don't get too many of their comics. In the slot, there was some, uh, but there wasn't a whole lot. Not enough to make a single video for. I might uh, mix those up with random Marvel comics uh, if I make a video on that. But that set there, I'm going to be keeping. Next up, we have, uh, it's going to be likely all over the board. This one here looks familiar. It looks like I already have it. Uh, this is issue 28. It just looks really familiar with the Statue of Liberty. Something tells me I do already have it. The spine's a little bit bent. I can feel it there. Uh, and it is worn out a little bit on the ends. But uh, interesting. We have issue 17. I don't know if I have this one or not. Definitely gonna have to check out my collection, see if I have this one. If not, I'm gonna be keeping it, but it doesn't look familiar to me. Uh, issue 38, this is one I'm definitely gonna be keeping. That just looks really, really cool. Wow. Definitely keeping this one. Issue 45, if it was in better condition, I would keep it you guys could tell, obviously it's not bag or boarded, uh, but it's really, really rough. Can't really tell on the camera there, can you? It's not in the best of condition. Uh, next, 47, again, it's decent, but it's not perfect condition, it's not boarded. But uh, 47, we have issue 48, which is not good at all. Um, I like the artwork of it, it looks cool. Unfortunately, I'm not going to keep it because it is damaged around the staples here. It's hard to tell on the camera. It's not picking it up, but it's in not the best of condition. Uh, issue 49. I just glanced down. There's no issue 50, which I would have loved. But issue 49. Issue 54. That's actually a cool scene. I don't know if I want that or not. Gonna have to consider that one for my personal collection. 56, not interested. I like the fight scene, I like the artwork, I like the design of it, but I think I'll pass on it and not add it to my personal collection. Then we have 64, it looks like the rest might be bagged and boarded, hopefully all of them. That's a cool one. Issue 65, this is actually the first comic that I've come across that has Kingpin in it. So I might have to keep this for my personal collection. I'm not 100% sure right now, but uh, Kingpin? Definitely going to have to check this one out. At least read it first. Issue 67. Don't think I have this one, so I might have to keep it in my personal collection. It just looks really, really cool. Going to have to consider that one. Issue 71. Uh, part 1 of 2. Actually, I have the whole set. Here's another set that I found inside. Part one of two uh, for Dominic Fortune. Really cool. Let's set that one aside and look it up since it is a complete set. So this is part two of two for that one. And I like the design of this cover a lot better than the last one. So that's two sets I found in Web of Spider-Man. Issue 77. I'm not really sure what this creature is there, but that's a cool comic. 78. Kind of looks like they repeat of the same character over and over. I'm not familiar with them, so 
uh, then a huge jump. This is 106, part 6 of 14, which I can almost guarantee I'm not going to have a complete set of that uh, in here. But I like how there's Venom there. I'm a huge fan of Venom. 103, I almost said 303. 103 has Carnage and Venom. Uh, this one here, it's 10 of 14, but I just like the artwork. I may have to keep that one. I'm not sure. This one's cool. 113. It's not bagged or boarded, but it is in great condition. And it has Gambit on it. And Black Hat, but I mean, it's Gambit. So that's a cool one. Uh, we have 116. I'm not sure who he's fighting here, but I like the design of that. Uh, this is 117. Uh, Spider-Man versus Peter Parker. That one I'm going to have to keep. That is really cool. Something about the uh, Spider-Verse. So, Spider-Man versus Peter Parker. Wow. I'm going to have to check that one. That says part one on it. Probably don't have the other parts in here. Uh, 118. Very cool. I like the costume change there. The design looks really cool. 119. Facing Venom. Uh, this is part 3 of 4 in the Exile Returns. 120. This is getting a lot more modern for me. Um, I assume it's 90s. Gonna have to think about that. Issue 120, part 3 of 4 of Web of Life. Which I'm not gonna have a complete set in here of that. It's too modern for me. Then we have Web of Spider-Man. Uh, this is an annual, annual six. And then we have annual seven, 1991. This one has Black uh, Panther and Iron Man in it. So that one might, and of course Ultron. I might have to keep this one for myself. Normally I avoid uh, annuals. They're cool, they're just not usually what I end up finding and keeping, but this is a cool cover. I like it, uh, 64 pages, it's a bigger comic. I think I'm gonna keep that. So out of all the web of Spider-Man right now, I think I've picked out maybe half, but I will have to go through what I already have. And see, there might be some doubles, uh, or there might be other ones that I'm missing in my collection that I might have to grab as well. But uh, for the most part, at least half of these I end up uh, likely I'm going to be selling, make back some of my money, um, and I'll see what I get. So. This is the stack here. Right now that I think I'm going to be selling, should be able to get a decent amount for them. Of course, the damaged ones, if there's any damaged ones, I'm just gonna toss them uh, in a bundle with some other ones as well. I'm not gonna get a lot for the damaged ones, but all the other ones that are in this, likely going to get a decent amount for, at least in my opinion. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoy all of my comic book videos now that I've returned comic books to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care, peace.